In this video, we're going to be talking about electrical symbols. These are schematic symbols that describe the circuits in refrigeration. Now, these mostly symbols are not just for refrigeration. You're going to see them other schematics as well. But we really want you to understand these basic symbols and what they refer to. So we're going to be taking some parts. We're going to be looking at the symbols for those parts. And we're going to understand things like throw, poles, schematics and other switches and diagrams. So when you look at this picture, you'll see a chart here that has a whole lot of different symbols and diagrams. Now these symbols and diagrams tell the story and the functionality of circuits in refrigeration. Okay, we start off with the most basic symbols and devices of all, the switch. Diagram picture A up here is a single pole single throw switch. Now picture B is a single pole double throw switch. You'll see the difference. Okay, if you notice here where my cursor is right now, and I'll put a circle up here. Okay, we'll say we'll put a circle up here. That is your pole. Okay, so we have one pole on both A and B. The difference is the number of receiving ends, okay? In other words, it can only go one way to make a contact. That says it's single throw. So we have single pole, single throw. Down here in diagram B, we still have only one pole. In other words, it can only make one contact at one time, but it can go in two directions. So it's considered a single pole double throw switch. Now, we can take this a step farther when we go to die picture C. You notice we have two poles, okay? In other words, there's two contacts that are made at the same time. The same in picture D. We have two contacts that are made at one time. So picture C is a double pole, two poles, single throw. Can only go in one direction to make contact. Picture D is a double pole again you have two circuits and double throw because it can go this way and it can also go this way to make contact so there we have a double throw double pole switch now we look at the diagrams of this that you'll find on a ladder schematic so here we have a normally open contact but it is a single pole single throw Normally open means it is in the position where it is de-energized. Okay, it's normal state. To turn the circuit on, you close the switch. To turn the circuit off, you open the switch and it goes back to its normal position. If it's shown in the schematic as closed, which this one is, you notice the switch is closed. Okay, this is considered a normally closed switch. So in order to turn the circuit off or do its not normal position, you would open the switch. So again, we have a single pole, single throw switch, normally open, normally closed. Momentary switches are this T here. Okay, so if you look at this switch, okay, we have a, we basically have a T. Okay, you push it down it makes contact. You remove the contact, okay, and it reopens back to its normal position. Here I have a normally closed. The action would be to push it down and pull it off the contacts and then release it and it would push back up. So again, normally open means in order to do something we have to push down on it and connect it. And then normally open to do something to cause the action, we would push down on it and it would open. And it's spring returns. These are considered momentary switches. They do not stay in the position. Lamps, okay, LED indicators are indicated by a little light bulb, a little circle with rays coming out of it. And they might have a letter inside of it to designate the color. Okay, so it's an LED with a colored lens. Relays and contactors. We're going to talk much more about this in the future, but it is basically a switch, an 
an electronic switching device that has contacts and a coil. Okay, you'll see them on your circuit boards like this. So the coil is a load, okay, and it's used and it's in a circuit either as a circle or most often if it's drawn any other way, it's drawn as a relay coil. Then you have contacts, which is also someplace in the circuit. Now, the key is if this is labeled C1, then the contacts that are controlled by that are also going to be labeled C1. That's how you tell they go together. Okay, so most often you're going to see this. This one is what we're going to use in this circuit. So a relay and a contactor basically says when this load is energized, when the coil is energized, it's going to close the normally open contact and open the normally closed. Then we de-energize it or turn it off. The normally open is going to go back to the normally open and the normally closed will close again. Okay, the control relay is really the center piece of anything we're doing where one circuit is controlling another one. The control relay consists of two portions, the coil and the contact. And again, please remember the contact in a relay is not shown as a switch. It is shown as a contact. Okay, it's just in this diagram they're showing it as a switch. The coil acts as an electromagnet. Okay, in other words, anytime we take a coil of wire and energize it, okay, we start building magnetic fields around the outside of it. So we put power on this coming in from here and back to neutral or common. This is going to build up an, electro an electronic mag magnetic field. Okay, when the current passes through the coil, magnetic lines begin build causing magnetic force. The magnet force attracts the contact portion of the control relay and you notice that has closed. It's all due by, by magnetism. There's really no electronic connection between this coil and the secondary circuit. The coil of the control relay must energize first before the associated contacts close. Okay, when it, the coil energizes, contacts close, and it energizes whatever load is in the circuit. Then it, then you would de-energize it. It opens and goes back to its normally open position. Close, open, close, open. Okay. So that is the two basic components of the circuit. Okay, we have our switch and we have our contact, our coil and switches come in a variety of different poles and throws.